Hey everybody, it's me, Maria. Um, sorry it's been so long since I've done, you know, any tutorials or anything like that. Um, been a little bit sick, and uh, for those of you that are on the East Coast, you know we had a storm. So it wasn't really um, a good environment to have, like, the cameras on and be doing that kind of a thing. But today, what I'm going to do is try to get in a couple of tutorials. Um, first, I want to address one that people keep asking. It's so, so simple. Is and it's so, so simple, um, is the Franken top coats with holographic um, powders in them. So I'll show you a couple of powders and then I'll do one for you so that you know um, how to use those. So um, this should be a fairly fast one and then I'll just go on to the next one and um, hopefully we'll get a couple You're of You're gonna wanna use a looser, runnier top coat like this one um, because with the sesh feet I did some with sesh feet they're a little thick um, and they're good but they're just kind of hard to it shake looks up. like when you mix together the bronze and the aqua it's really a cool effect and this is a powder I actually ordered from Australia. Um, you can get it in the U.S. It is a bit pricey, but this powder is very, very um, holographic. It's a slightly coarser um, powder than Spectra Flare that you can use and that are available to use. And I just want to show you really quickly um, a few of the powders that I have used. This is Gold Rush, and this is a very fine, thin powder, um, sort of like the Spectra Flare powder that you may have heard of. These are actually used to um, color and enhance acrylics. They are safe to put in polish. Um, these that I'm showing you right now, all but one, you can actually get at a Sally's Supply. And the Silver, the Shining Dawn, and the blue ice, these are all coarser glitter. You can see that they're very larger pieces there. And you can mix and match these um, together to create different effects. This is a slightly coarser color and it is black and it's called New Moon, but they do have sort of a glimmer to them. And this is Snow Cap. And Snow Cap actually looks very much like that. That's what I used to make this, and I didn't shake this to show you what they do um, when they've sat for a while when you make these. Um, they settle to the bottom, and this is why you need your BBs, but this is made with the snow cap, and snow cap actually is a really glimmery pretty... snow cap. Um, it's a glimmery, snowflakey looking color, and here it is shaken up. And it has a lot of shine. I'm not sure that you can really see that in the camera. And this is the one I made actually with the Gold Rush. And this is very fine particles. So when you put it on, it's a really nice gold holographic effect. And I can show you these at the end, how they look on. So what I'm using today is this one. And this one actually is a hollow flake that is used in automotive paint. And these are safe for your nails because there's no um, paint or anything in these. These are simply the flakes they use to give color and depth to the paint. Um, and that's why they're so much more reflective than the nail stuff you can find. And I'm going to show you how to make this one and this one has extremely beautiful shimmer and it glistens very much like northern lights but it's actually more vibrant and it looks a little more like lights I'll try to go into different lighting with it on um, my nails to show you when we're done so what you'll need is an empty polish bottle or a top coat bottle that you um, are going to use that top coat um, this is actually just an empty bottle and I, um, I sometimes buy these to mix and match and play with with um, top coat and then use them 
to do this. You'll need some BBs. Um, BBs are pretty cheap. You can usually get them at a hunting and supply or fishing store or you can get them at Walmart. If you don't have a Walmart, maybe wherever you're at, go to a place that sells fishing gear. A lot of times they'll have the BBs. And whenever you make things with this powder, put extra BBs. Most polishes have two BBs, sometimes three. Put about five BBs in there because you're gonna need it to really shake it up. And then just so I can show you how I measure this from my larger bottle, I pour enough in so that I know when I'm making it, it's gonna make this much, just enough for this bottle. And I don't fill it all the way to the top, just to the brim of this part of the bottle. And what I'm using today is Super Shiny by Creative Nail Design, but any cheap uh, top coat will work. It really does not need to be it really does not need to be anything fancy because usually it's a layer and you're going to top coat it anyway. And this is the same method I use to franken and to mix and match colors. I like doing it in my little mixing bowl. This is a porcelain bowl that remover will not hurt. Um, I really like using these because I feel like I can mix them up better and get um, a real look at how it's going to look before I'm finished. And then it's kind of already shaken up and clean before it goes in the bottle. So you're gonna pour all of your top coat in to your bowl. And if your BBs come out, that's fine. If they don't, that's okay too. They're just gonna kind of hang out in the bottle. And I just wanna show you, I use a little scoop like this one. If you have something like this, use something like this because it gives you a little more control over how much you're putting in but just kind of gently sprinkle it across. And the reason I don't just dump it in is because it doesn't mix as well for me. And I do about three layers on top and it's gonna look like this. And you're gonna take something like an orange wood stick or a metal cuticle pusher is okay because you can clean that off. Now, if I didn't want heavy coverage in my top coat, I could stop right here and it would look about like this, which would, this would be a very thin layer. So if you don't want it to be super strong or super thick, like this one, you would stop right about here. However, you can continue to go back in and repeat this process as many times as you like, and you almost can't put too much in unless you make it really pasty, then you've probably gone a little too far, but you can always thin that back out with a little more top coat. Make sure you have some available when you're doing this so that if you do um, put too much or you made it too thick for some reason, you can kind of thin it out. And this is close to how I have it in the bottle. I actually put a lot in because I wanted it to be a really full coverage top coat. And see, as you can see here, it is a beautiful, you know, color in there. And the camera might not be picking it up as, as well as, as it could. I'm going to try this too so you can see that. Can you see the rainbows there? It's very, very pretty. And this actually... Um, this, the other one I made before looked a lot like fairy dust, but this one to me is prettier than fairy dust. Fairy dust is a little less glimmery than this one. See, fairy dust is kind of pale in comparison to that. Um, but basically this is all you have to do. And when you're mixing colors, this is the same thing I do. I put a base color in. <coughs> And then I just start to add by pouring in or dropping in a few drops of colors that I like until I come up with the shade that I want. Now, if you're not steady at hand, I recommend a little funnel. Um, I'm pretty good with my bowl. And you just pour it in. And it should pour pretty smoothly. If it's clumpy, you need to go back in and thin that out with some more top coat. 
And you want to try to get all your glitter in there. You can always go and use your orange wood stick there and scrape some out of the bottom. This is a super simple process and this is just the little bit that's remaining in the bowl. I usually just take a cotton wipe with remover on it and wipe that clean. And there you go. Now you have your holographic top coats. And you can do this with um, any of your powders and you can do it mixing them with color. And I just wanted to show you how this looks just over kind of a, a purpley color. This is actually Extravagance by OPI DS. And this is one coat. And on my finger, I'll show you two coats. And while we wait for this, I wanted to just show you really quickly how the two that we made with the other color look. So this is the gold that we made with Gold Rush, which is another powder that we can get at Sally's. And just disregard that little bit of glitter I have on my finger. It's from making the other one. Now that is one coat of the gold. Go ahead and put this second coat here. And these are just fun ways to change up polish you already have. And this is the one with the... So this is one coat of our hollow, two coats of our hollow, two coats of our gold hollow, and two coats of our aqua and bronze shimmer. And I will quickly show... So this is one coat of our hollow, two coats of our hollow, two coats of our gold hollow, and two coats of our aqua and bronze shimmer. And I will quickly you, show you, even in darker lighting, they glimmer. And these are our homemade top coats.